the formidable robot. We all know that North Korea is a bad place to most Americans, and it has been for a long time. It is also a very secretive country, which hides most of its daily lives, which includes blocking the internet, disabling international phone calls and other strategies to prevent contact with the rest of the world. That is partially true, very few people in the country has known about their fellow rival named South Korea, and one person named In Young has violated one of the laws of revealing another existence beyond the borders of what Kim Jong has set out for the residents. This is where our dark story begins. Most people in South Korea has known the publishing company of BRB International, along with the rest of the world. It features Minchi's Adventures Zulabu, and the famous Cannibals, which has a connection with this bootleg channel which will be mentioned later. Like I said, there are a few people in North Korea who is in contact with the rest of the world beyond their own country, and one of them can abuse this power, when he was eavesdropping on South Korea at this channel as he looked at this country in envy. In Young has been picking up on unfamiliar channels he has never seen before, and the one he liked the most was BRB International because it opened up to other countries around the unseen world, and he thought to himself, why not us, and this question haunted him for quite a while. He wanted to make his own country happy by making his own version of BRB International for North Korea to watch. Kim Jong did not know about this illegal activity until later. In Young started recording the content of BRB International, and he made an amateur TV station out of scrapped radio and a VCR. He collected these in an abandoned junkyard which was said to be haunted by the workers that had very low payment and unfair treatment, also said to attack any descendants of employers. He then made a bootleg copy of a lot of shows from Cannibals to Zubabu. He even hacked the BRB International database and stolen cannibals, cannibalism original edit, to remind local residents of the accident with the girl. Now let's go into the actual content of the channel, shall we? Every morning, the only channel that North Koreans were supposed to watch, was hijacked by In Young by his version of BRB International, and he was not even caught by security, and there is no known reason why he wasn't discovered by the government, but he probably should have been caught due to the experiences of watchers. There were reports of a plague after watching the bootleg channel, such as random disappearances, unsolved death mysteries, severe sickness and mental traumas. Over 5,000 people were affected. People who survived the Channel of Hell reported that there were creepy images and patterns, mysterious creatures that don't even exist, and sometimes a woman shrieking, and of course, the morbid episode of cannibals. Kim Jong eventually discovered the weird patterns people experienced and some revealed that it was a bootleg channel, and with a very disturbing logo that looked with a pale face that had no eyes or mouth, like they were there, but they were just holes, with a very sad expression with blood coming down his head, with the letters BRB all in red with blood dripping. The advertisements were a hypnosis strategy of convincing people to join hell. People had to tell Russia about this morbid channel and be on the hunt for the sick man who did this, and it was all on the web. It has been two years since this man was not discovered, however this man was found when he was shot down by the police while seen holding a mysterious object, and the object appeared to be a VHS which seems to be from South Korea, and it labeled death video in Korean. He was prosecuted with an electric chair and his last words were, eat the bodies, before he died of stroke. A few months later, he was buried at the junkyard he collected from, and this was never heard from again. None of the footage was ever found. Please do not make the same mistake as he did.